Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs, and a happy senior skip day to the class of 2018. Reminder that there's only 17 days left of school, so let's make it count. Today we'll hear about May Mester, marching band, strides for Stacy, prom, daily sports, and DECA applications. But now let's send it over to weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. Today it's going to uh, be a high of 80 and a low of 65. It's currently 64, and at lunch it's going to be 72, and at 3 it's going to be 77 degrees. Nice warm day outside, so I recommend going outside and be playing outside. Enjoy your day outside because it's really warm and really nice day, so spring is finally here. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. Attention students, are you behind with credits? You have the opportunity to come to school and earn them online from 3 to 6 p.m. each day. This opportunity will last until May 18th. There is no bus transportation, but we hope you will find a way to make this opportunity work for you. Seek guidance counselors with any questions. Summer marching band practices start next Tuesday and Thursday, May 8th and the 10th from 4 to 5.30 in the banner. All students signed up for band next year must attend. Strides for Stacy is Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. Registration papers are available in the bookstore. There is also still a chance for you to receive your t-shirt on time if you turn in your registration paper early today. The 40th Annual Florida Hog Jog is Saturday, June 16th. The registration fee is $20 and registration will close June 13th. Applications for the 2018-2019 Frankfurt DECA Leadership Team are due this week. Stop by the DECA room to pick up an officer application if interested. Also, don't forget to purchase your prom tickets at the bookstore for $25 and fill out your permission slip. Prom is this Saturday, May 5th at the Purdue North Ballroom. Now here's a quick video about our new and improved school. It is now time for Sports with Nick. Thanks. In track and field action from last night, both the boys and girls track and field teams fell 11 in, but luckily they were able to bounce back and beat Sheridan. The winners were Colton Crum and Pole Vault, who set yet another school record of 17 feet and 5 inches, so congrats to you, Colton. Jared Wells also won the 800 and the 1600, and Andy Palmer set a personal record in shot put, so congrats to you as well. And Wendy Sehal won the pullout for the girls. And finally, Kenya Garcia won the discus. The track team's next meet will be Monday as they host the Hot Dog Relays. The varsity baseball team defeated Southmont last night by a score of 17 to 10. Casey Henry pitched very well, earning his fourth win on the year. Jose Sandoval led the offense with three hits, including two home runs and a whopping six RBIs. And Christian Lopez also chipped in with four hits as well. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick Gender. Now it's time for the sound room for Behind the Scenes with Dallas.
Hey Dallas, how's the uh, Strats for Stacy training coming? Pretty good. Just been training really hard. What's uh, up, up with the beard? Uh, I decided to grow it out, but I haven't didn't really have time to train it. I mean, trim it. Make sure you sign up for Strides for Stacy, folks. Wow, Dallas is so dedicated. For real. <laughs> Reminder to all AP students, the AP exam begins next week, so be prepared. Miss Ulrich's third period needs to report to Mrs. Guest Room in room 121. That's all for the daily announcements. Thanks for tuning in and have a great Wednesday. This has been a, are seniors skipping or is it just spontaneous combustion or ABC and Omega production? Thank you. Top's counting us in the early hours.